Galactus must feed. What have you done? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most powerful Marvel characters we haven't seen yet. Come at me again, you green beast, and I will rip you in two. For this list, we'll be looking at the strongest characters from Marvel's roster that haven't appeared in the MCU between 2008's Iron Man and 2022's Thor Love and Thunder. Which of these powerhouses do you hope to see in the MCU soon? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Wonder Man. Simon? Simon, oh man, what happened to you? If a hero is essentially immortal, you can bet they have a rich power set to back it up. Simon Williams, aka Wonder Man, is basically made of ionic energy. This gives him a wide range of impressive abilities. You're able to expand the ionic energy. That's amazing! <laughs> On top of all your basic superhuman attributes, he can teleport, alter his form, generate force blast, and heal from literally anything. Simon has actually come very close to appearing in the MCU. Originally, Nathan Fillion portrayed him in a cut cameo for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The actor then went on to voice him in two episodes of Hulu's MODOK. It would be wonderful if Fillion brought this formidable hero to live action. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Uh, 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 Jody. Number nine, Blue Marvel. Dr. Adam Brashear, a football star and Ivy League prodigy turned decorated marine, turned master of electrical engineering and theoretical physics. Adam Brashear grew up as a child prodigy. As an adult, he developed a reactor that could contact a space called the Negative Zone in an attempt to utilize antimatter as clean energy. But the reactor exploded instead. In the aftermath, he gained incredible powers and became Blue Marvel. Beyond being nearly invulnerable and aging slowly, he can absorb and manipulate antimatter energy, fire stunning blasts, and project a force field. Extreme super strength, super speed, flight, nearly invulnerable durability, longevity, and massive energy projection round out some of Brashear's abilities. His only apparent weakness is a substance called neutronium that the average bad guy will have trouble finding. Brashear's creator Kevin Grievous has hinted that he's in the same league as heroes like Thor and Hulk. If Blue Marvel ever came to the MCU, we'd love to see him spar with those Avengers. What are you doing? It's me. <laughs> Number 8, Galactus. My people called it Galactus, the devourer of worlds. Although we saw Galactus in 2007's Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, that appearance didn't really do him justice. The movie did get one thing right though, the Devourer of Worlds is definitely something to be feared. His massive power levels came from merging with a cosmic entity. To maintain himself, Galactus must consume entire worlds. His powers include firing energy blasts, energy absorption, teleportation, telepathy, and the ability to endow others with his powers. This is different. This is a force of nature. And Galactus can always just eat a planet if things aren't going his way. We know that Marvel Studios is working on a new Fantastic Four movie. In a few years, he may show up to give the team a terrifying welcome. Well, the seven billion other people on this planet aren't going to fare any better. Regrettably, but Galactus hungers, and Galactus must feed. Number 7, Annihilus. Face your annihilation, Spider-Man! And from bad to worse. Speaking of powerful villains linked to the Fantastic Four, Annihilus is another who frequently butts heads with Marvel's first family. And with a name like that, you'd be right in assuming his power levels are pretty intimidating. This insectoid antagonist normally holds an oppressive rule over the negative zone. Hulk, you think you are strong enough to stop my invasion? You are nothing. So you know this creep. 
Yeah, he's top bug in the negative zone. With help from the Cosmic Control Rod, Annihilus has control over cosmic energy, slows his aging drastically, and fires powerful blasts with a force of up to 10 megatons. He's also constantly reborn no matter how many times he dies and can make most others feel fear. Since Annihilus is a villain with the persistent goal of conquering Earth, the MCU heroes better be ready to stop him. Forward and attack! Destroy anything in your path! Number 6. Sentry Sentry was the alter ego of Robert Reynolds, who became one of the most powerful heroes in all existence after he took an experimental super soldier serum. When it comes to Robert Reynolds, aka Sentry, it seems Marvel just grabbed as many A-list powers they could find and shoved them into one character. Like Captain America, Sentry got his powers from a special serum, but his experience gave him a ridiculous range of superpowers. He's even fought Galactus, Galactus, to a standstill. Like Superman, Sentry can absorb energy from the sun to fuel himself. Sentry can also manipulate molecules, fly, teleport, has super strength, and is close to invulnerable. His abilities to manipulate light let him fire energy blasts and go invisible. With this sweet set of powers, Sentry could demolish most opponents he comes up against. With the power of a million suns, Sentry was in a league of his own. Number 5. Molecule Man Last time Molecule Man came to town, he almost left with it too. Like many heroes before him, Owen Reese received his powers through contact with nuclear radiation in a scientific accident. The major difference is that his accident was orchestrated by extra-dimensional beings called the Beyonders for their own purposes. In any case, Reese is able to alter all matter and energy, basically reshaping the world as he sees fit. This wand could change any kind of molecule into any other kind of molecule. He can even create whole universes on a whim. Additionally, Reese's abilities also let him travel through wormholes and produce energy blasts, but he really has no need for fighting. With a mere thought, Molecule Man can immediately change or even destroy just about anything. Even Galactus is afraid of him. That alone should tell you everything about how powerful Molecule Man is. Think what I could do with molecular manipulation. Turn the moon into a green energy battery. Transmute Jersey into... What's the opposite of Jersey? Number 4. Sidorak this ancient deity may not pose much of a direct threat to Earth because he was banished to another dimension long ago. But make no mistake, he is one powerful entity not to be trifled with. Sidorak is immensely magical and able to lend his powers to others across dimensions. This is usually through some artifact or spell, like Doctor Strange's Crimson Bands of Sidorak. The villain's Crimson Gem has also imbued wielders like Juggernaut with tremendous strength and abilities. Juggernaut! Ooh, I thought that was you! I should've worn my white pants! He can even increase the power levels of his avatars if he so chooses. The multiverse is becoming more heavy of a focus in the MCU. So, we may get the appearance of Sidorak or one of his dangerous avatars in the upcoming years. You know, it has always been a dream of mine to see my face reflected in your helmet as you charge at me with murderous intent. I don't mean right now. Number 3. Mephisto I'll be watching. Forget about friends. Forget about family. Although the internet has speculated about a Mephisto appearance across multiple Phase 4 projects, he has yet to appear. It will be a monumental moment when he does though. Mephisto is one of several devil-like antagonists in the Marvel roster. Ruling over a pocket dimension he calls Hell, he uses the human's knowledge of the Christian devil to trick them into making deals. I cured his cancer. That was the deal. But I couldn't let him come between us. He can also shapeshift into other forms to get closer to his enemies. 
Marvel heroes like Spider-Man and Scarlet Witch have found themselves getting manipulated by Mephisto. But since he can use multiple forms of magic and regenerate, it would be hard for them to take him out. Mephisto is a devilishly powerful force to be reckoned with. I will make you pay for this. You can't live in fear. Number 2, The Beyonder. You're the Beyonder, got it. Beyonder? I like that. You mind if I use that? Since Beyonders have the ability to reshape reality, they can basically do whatever they want. There was a time where one of these entities decided to pit various heroes and villains against each other in a battle royale for his own amusement. You are on Battle World. A planet I built from parts of other worlds, including your own. I brought you here to be part of my grand experiment. In order to set the stage, the Beyonder created an entire world. While his vast powers have shifted over the years, he has more than enough strength to see most heroes as insignificant. The Beyonder was a major part of the Secret War storyline in the comics, and recent movies like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness have hinted that the plot is coming to the MCU. None of the live-action Avengers will be prepared for the Beyonder's abilities. See, I make the rules and the cold truth is, you have no chance. You never did. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. One Above All Of all the cosmic beings in Marvel, One Above All is by far the most powerful. You can't kill me because I already know what's going to happen. See? They created the entire multiverse of endless worlds. Fortunately for evildoers, one above all doesn't usually intervene in any conflicts and embodies love and life instead of destruction. They have been known to give a little help and warm advice to heroes. In one case, One Above All also appeared in the form of a human comic book writer amongst super-powered beings. Given that they are a literal deus ex machina whose powers can't begin to be measured, it's unlikely they'll appear regularly in the MCU. But there's always a chance One Above All could pop up in a surprising form to give a hero enough strength to keep fighting. Can I return it if it doesn't fit? It always fits. Eventually. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.